Here we are, start of the second half. 0-0 zero, zero ball game as we begin the third quarter. So there was a penalty at the end of the first half. I don't know if they ended up picking up the flag or if that, it looks like that penalty is going to be, um, is going to be charged here at kickoff. So kicking off actually at Pemberton's 40, five yard line as a result of that uh, unsportsmanlike conduct, I believe it was, or unnecessary rough, or unnecessary roughness, something like that. Looks like it was a 15 yard penalty. So uh, let's see, almost an opportunity for a touchback here. Nick Savalas lined up already on Pemberton's side of the field. the kickoff and he gets it in the end zone but they bring it out uh, some whistle though not sure what the whistle was maybe it's an automatic touchback not sure of the rule uh, but a great job by Nick getting that into the end zone uh, not easy to do in high school so Morristown defense taking the field Pemberton with the ball Ball is going to be spotted at the 20 yard line. It's going to be first and 10, ball to 20. Morristown in a man to man defense. A lot of pressure, another flag on the field, and a good job by, I believe, Nick Savalos on the pursuit. Tackled for a short loss, but there is a flag on the field. I'd have to wait and see what that penalty is. It's going to be a hold on Pemberton, so that's going to back them up five yards and set up a first and 15. So Pemberton this deep in their own territory, it looks like Moorestown's dialing up some defensive pressure. Last series, they ran a zero coverage, man-to-man, -man, really brought the heat. Now they're in a more traditional defensive set. Um, two high safeties. Quarterback draw again. And met at the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. Pretty much stuffing them at the line. So that's going to, eh, maybe a short gain of about a yard and a half, two yards. So that's going to set up a second and 13, let's call it. Quick snap to the quarterback, quick pass out to the right flat. Great pursuit. Nice open field tackle by Caleb. Having a hell of a game. Maybe a gain of a yard, if that. Could have even been a short loss. So that's going to bring up a third down. Third and yeah, probably still 13. Then get a stop here and then bring the heat on the punt. This could be a good opportunity for Morristown. First things first, got to stop them on third down. Morristown, three defensive backs, deep pass, opportunity, there's the interception! Daniel 
Tolentino with the uh, with the INT. Doesn't even give Pemberton an opportunity to bring out the punt team. So that's going to give Morristown a great opportunity here. Take it over first and ten, deep into Pemberton territory. Ball's going to get marked at about the 32-yard line. False start or a offsides on the defense. We didn't see the call. They're going to call encroachment on the defense. So great job by the quarterback or by the uh, center, staying put, and uh, that's going to move the ball five yards forward to set up a second and five. Morristown immediately the line of scrimmage. Two wide receivers split right, two to the left. And a wide open look, and Nick with a reception, and Nick with a move, and Nick with a touchdown. Great play call, well thrown ball by, uh, by Chase, put it right in Nick's uh, bread basket, and then Nick with a, with a great move, evades the tackle, gets in for the touchdown. So first points on the board, Morristown up 6-0. Uh, waiting for the point after. Going for the kick. Try to make this 7-0. And it's good. All right. We're down with a 7-0 lead here at the beginning of the third quarter. Kickoff team taking the field. Nick Savalas with an active leg today in this game. Bring another kick opportunity. This time he's got to kick it from our own side of the field. No penalty to start us off on, uh, on their side of the field. All right, ball teed up at the 40-yard line. <laughs> Time for the kickoff coverage team to do their job. Low swivel kick, picked up at the 30-yard line, and finally brought down at about the 42. All right, so Pemberton going to take over with first and ten. Here, Max 
with the ball all the way down to the five yard line. Max Smith on the INT. Thought he might be able to get in for the pick six, but what a great return. Gets it all the way back to about the five yard line. Gonna give Morristown an opportunity here for a second quick score. Morristown gonna take it over first and 10, ball on the, I believe five. Maybe six yard line. Chase out to his right, looking in the end zone and uh, wisely sort of throws it away. Trying to get it to, uh, to Caleb. But really wasn't open. Better to take that incomplete than risk any form of an interception. So that's gonna set up second down, second and goal. Morristown probably going to try to power it in. Second and goal, ball on the five. Draw play. And Ben immediately met at the line of scrimmage. And that's going to set up a third down. Third and goal. Royce looking to pass it. Oh, had a small window to try to get it into Caleb. Pass sails a little high. And so that's going to set up fourth down. It looks like Morristown's going to go for it on a fourth and goal. Either punch this ball in or make Pemberton go the distance of the field. Midway through the third quarter. Yeah, Morristown up 7-0. Looking to get a two-score lead here. It's going to be a lot of heat coming to the right. Some uncovered defenders, but they're going to drop into a zone coverage. Gets it over to Ben. Ben. Ben running it out to the left side, but just not able to find that open clearing. And Morristown's going to turn it over on downs. So Pemberton going to take over first and 10, ball at about the five yard line. Uh, unfortunate missed opportunity there. Morristown is not able to get anything going offensively, either in the air or on the ground. And it looks like that's going to actually bring up the end of the third quarter. So we're going in the fourth quarter now. 